Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to talk about my top five questions that I ask before investing in any coin. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I think it's really important that you know or understand what you're putting your money into. It's always important to do your due diligence or your research because at the end of the day, it's your hard earned money and why would you just squander it away? I mean, wouldn't you want to actually earn a return on it? So for myself, when I first started several years ago in the crypto space, I didn't know anything about putting money into crypto. All I knew was Bitcoin was the safest and that's all I pretty much had. Bitcoin and Ethereum. Those were pretty much the only thing that I knew about. Now, after more altcoins came out, then I started learning, okay, is this a good coin or what are some things that I should be looking out for? And so hopefully this video here can better give you that guidance if you are unsure yourself. So having said that, let's take a look at these questions. So the very first one is what problem is trying to be solved? So ideally, what is the problem that the coin was created to do? So for example, Bitcoin was created to be a peer to peer digital cash. Now you're thinking, well, what's the point of this? Well, the point is that it's secure and it cuts out the middleman or the banks per se. So you can directly transact with someone without having to go through a bank as an example. So that was the problem that Bitcoin was solving. Now with Ethereum as an example, the problem that they're solving is with decentralized smart contracts, or they're creating a platform where other coins can launch on their platform and thus use the smart contract function. So that's why Ethereum was created. It's solving that sort of issue right there. So that's the first question right there. Now the second is who is behind the coin? So with the exception of Bitcoin, all coins have a founder or a team behind it. Now, I personally want to know who created this coin or who came up with this idea and what is their experience? Have they created anything before? What is their track record? So I want to know pretty much the profile of this team. I want to know what their experience is like and so on and so forth because you're not just investing in the coin, but you're really investing in the team behind it because a coin itself has no value, but it's rather the people behind it who are putting their time and energy and effort to create some value from this coin. So that's why I ask who is behind this coin. Now, the third question is what kind of coin is it? So is it a transactional coin, a platform coin, or a meme and etc.? So a transactional coin would be like XRP, XLM, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. So the idea behind those coins is it's supposed to be from one person to another person for or payment settlements. That's transactional. The other is platform. So that's like Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum or Cardano. So those are kind of what platform coins are like. Now the last is meme. For example, Doge was created as a meme. So therefore it's a meme coin. And the other question is what are the tokenomics of this coin? So for example, Bitcoin, we know that it's only got 21 million in max supply. And right now the current circulating supply is a little bit under that. And we know that every four years, there's a halving event. And this basically means that the number of Bitcoins released per block is reduced in half. So that's kind of what the tokenomics means. Now with other coins, they'll have different tokenomics in terms of its supply or how much they release per block and so on and so forth. So this is something that I want to know. So that's the third question that I'll ask. Now the fourth one is what are the charts showing about the current? price. Now this is assuming I'm kind of interested. I just want to see where this coin is in terms of its current price versus its history. Now, obviously, if this coin is a super new coin, then this chart here wouldn't really exist. But for myself, I don't really invest in coins that don't have some sort of reputation. But for this question, does it look like a good price at this moment? So for myself, I also believe in technical analysis just as much as fundamental analysis. And so I kind of blend the two when it comes to 
investing. So for myself, if I'm looking at a coin and it's looking really overbought on a really high time frame, and all of these sort of indicators are showing that it's either topped out or going to top out, do I really want to put my money in right now? When is there a potential for it to go down lower? Well, maybe, right? So why would I buy now when I can just wait it out for a little bit and buy it cheaper? Yeah, obviously my analysis could be wrong and I missed the boat, but personally, I would rather just wait it out and wait for the price to come to where I am comfortable buying rather than just FOMOing in. Because when you buy based on emotion versus logic, then you do very rash things such as buying high and then and selling low. So this is the fourth question that I'll ask. Now the last question that I'll ask is where can I purchase this coin? So which exchange or platforms can I get it from? How reputable are these platforms and what is the trade volume like? Now when I look at a coin I want to see that it's got some sort of reputation. It's not just a random coin that's listed on no name exchange because I want to see that other exchanges actually have sort of vetted this coin here and and these exchanges aren't just listing out, for lack of a better term, shit coins, right? So I just want to make sure that this coin has actually been checked by other exchanges or platforms. But just because this coin here is listed on, let's just say, several exchanges, how reputable are these platforms or exchanges? If it's listed on ABC or XYZ exchange, and I've never heard of them before, well, that doesn't give it much social proof. So that's another thing that I kind of look out for when it comes to seeing where I can purchase this coin. And then the other thing is, what is the trade volume like? I want to make sure that there's actual trade volume behind this. So just because it's listed on an exchange doesn't necessarily mean that it's actively traded. So why does this matter? Well, let's just say I'm interested in putting a large sum of money into this coin. I want to make sure that I'm actually able to sell it if I feel like, okay, I am no longer interested in this project, right? I don't want to to drive the price of this coin down when I sell as an example, right? So that's why I look at the trade volume. But yeah, anyways, those are the top five questions that I look at when I am thinking about putting money into any sort of coin. Hopefully these questions here can better help you out if you didn't already know about them. Don't worry, I was once in that position. I didn't know what to look for or what questions to ask when I first got started, but after four years of being in the crypto space, I've now kind of learned this is what to look out for. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video or found it educational. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below because I do check and respond. If you think that there's someone who gets some value out of this video, please share it with them. If you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.